Have you noticed that Outlook doesn't always look the same? No wonder it can feel a bit confusing. That's because Microsoft 365 actually gives us three different versions of Outlook. Classic Outlook, the new Outlook, or as I like to call it, Microsoft's work in progress, and Outlook for the web. Let's take a quick tour of each one, highlight some differences, and talk about why you might choose to stick with classic Outlook like I do. For clarity, this overview focuses on Microsoft 365 versions of Outlook and doesn't include the free Outlook experience available with Outlook.com, MSN, Hotmail, or live email accounts. Let's start with classic Outlook. This is the tried and true version many of us have used for years. It has the deepest feature set, things like quick parts, advanced rules, customized conditional formatting, and custom views that new Outlook can only dream of right now. It's the most reliable if you depend on add-ins or advanced workflows. And it works beautifully offline for times when you might not have an internet connection. Now, if you work with classic Outlook, you've probably seen the option here, try the new Outlook. In most cases, you can then switch back to classic if you're not a fan of the new Outlook features. One downside of classic Outlook is because it is an older program, it doesn't fully support the paid Microsoft 365 Copilot add-in. So why stick with classic? Because it just works. If you're a power user, or you don't want to give up your favorite tools, Classic Outlook is still the gold standard. Personally, I'll be hanging on to it as long as Microsoft lets me. And the good news, Microsoft says Classic Outlook will be supported until at least 2029. The new Outlook is Microsoft's redesign, and eventually they'll drop the new and just call it Outlook. But let's be honest, it's still missing some of the power tools that make Classic Outlook shine. New Outlook is designed to mirror the interface and look of Outlook for the web. Here's what Microsoft wants you to like. Pinning emails, for instance. You can finally pin important emails to the top of your inbox. So for instance, I can hover over this message and click the pin just so that it stays at the top as other priorities come in. New Outlook has a cleaner, modern look. This means you have minimal menus and more white space. So if you like simple, it works. If you like control and customization or some of the options you have in your classic Outlook ribbon, maybe not so much. For example, many of my favorite conditional formatting options and custom views just don't carry over. In the calendar, the current and next day expand automatically, which is helpful but hardly life-changing. Another difference with new Outlook is the cloud and AI integration. So it's built for Microsoft 365, Teams, and Copilot although not everyone needs or wants all of that baked into their email. Now, a big advantage is security. It has stronger phishing protection, which is always a good thing. So why switch? If you want something fast and modern and don't mind losing some of the advanced tools from Classic, this could be for you. But for me, I'm not rushing over just yet. And our third option is Outlook for the web, which is the easiest way to check email from anywhere. So there's no installation needed. You just log into your Microsoft 365 account. It's always up to date, so no patches or updates are needed. It's great for travel or when you're on a different computer. And since it's browser-based, you'll also tend to see new features appear here first before they roll out to the desktop versions. So why use it? Certainly convenience. It's not my daily driver, but it's a lifesaver when you're away from your main computer. And it's good to know that, at least for now, you can use new Outlook or Outlook for the web while still working with classic Outlook. There's one big reason to switch, at least temporarily. Although I'm still a fan of classic Outlook, scheduled send is one feature where Outlook for the web or new Outlook really pull ahead. So my top reason for switching to Outlook for the web for some of my emails is when I want to control when an email is sent. Scheduled send is so much more reliable than the old delayed delivery option in Classic Outlook. To see scheduled send in action, click the link above or look for the link in the video description below. You'll see why it makes a difference. So which version should you use? Continue using the Classic Outlook app if you rely on advanced tools or don't want to lose features that you love. That's my plan for as long as possible. 
switch to new Outlook if you're a more casual user or want a fresher design, and you're okay trading in some power for simplicity. Just know it's still growing up. Choose Outlook for the web when you need quick, flexible access on the go. And remember, Microsoft is already rebranding the new Outlook to simply be Outlook, while the old version of Outlook is called Classic. What does this mean? Microsoft wants you to move. But me, I'll be hanging on to Classic Outlook until they pry it from my taskbar. To explore more ways to be productive with Outlook or to join my free software tips letter, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash Outlook. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for other time-saving software tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.